Okay, it's a big day. I'm going to introduce you to Opus, the tour-inspired wedge line that we've been working on for a long time. I have yet to see the new cosmetic. But if you follow the forums, you would have known that we had an S6 shape out there. We're kind of cheating it out there to test it on tour. And this is the new one. This is a new cosmetic. So let's just get, let's just get, let's get this stuff out of the way first. I'm not looking at them yet. I'm not looking at them yet. Not looking. Not looking. Not looking. Okay, let's get this box out of here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. This was the one I was really excited to see, the black one. Okay, so we have four different grinds here. We have your W grind, which is your higher bounce grind. We did that uh, in the last, uh, previous last two lines, but this one looks amazing in the chrome. We have the C grind, which is a tour favorite. That was one of the ones that we were testing on tour. We have the S grind, which is kind of like your middle, middle ground grind, which the black just looks amazing. I can't take my eyes off of it. And then we have the T grind, which through customs, I was told that you're going to be able to get this in raw. So your finishes are chrome, black, and raw. So let me kind of explain the technology, and I'll grab uh, let's grab the C grind. This is these are amazing. Let me check that out. Okay, so this is what they did. So one of the things that's a big deal on tour, obviously, is shape. So if you're going to look at the wedge like this, so you have a little roundness to this leading edge. The reason why the tour guys on tour and any good wedge player likes a little roundness to the leading edge is because when you lay it open, it still looks like the face is pointing at your target. Sometimes when the leading edge gets a little straight, it looks like the ball wants to squirt right. That was a huge kind of point of, I don't want to call it point of contention, but a huge note when Dean Takel and the tour team were working with our players is they wanted some more roundness here. The other thing is offset. So these wedges have a little bit more offset than Jaws Raw did. And you can see it. I mean, just put it in out there like this for me. You can see the offset there. That helps keep the ball down, helps start it online. And then they have what they call spin gen grooves or spin gen face. So essentially, in like layman's terms, they added a few grooves, they tightened the pitch of them together, and it creates just more spin. So we're never going to put out a product that doesn't compete or is better than the best product out there. So let's take a look at this really quick. So you have the C grind. It's a 6008C. If you want to take a look at the T grind, but this, this, see this back, this back part looks amazing. Another thing really quick to note, which I'm really excited about, longer hosel. So on Jaws Raw, what they did was they actually beefed up the top line of this wedge. With Opus, kind of the way, they, the way that they wanted to do it was to make the hosel longer, which is kind of an old school trick to raise the center of gravity. Whenever you make the, the, the hosel longer, moves the weight up, helps you drive the ball down. Any good wedge player hits their wedge down. So it's nice to see that that, uh, how that looks. Well, these, this black one, I can't, this is amazing. Then you have your S grind. The one thing I will say about this back part, you know, S grind looks like the S grind that we've had in the past. There was really no notes on that one. The cool thing about the S grind is it gives our grinders, every once in a while they'll do a grind on tour. This has just enough real estate for them to kind of manage that, takes them off the heel, takes them off the toe. Doesn't happen very often, but this is a nice blank canvas for our guys on tour uh, if they do need to grind something down. But I'm really, really loving this back, how simple this is. So I like the portholes and the jaws raw. I thought they were a cool look, but it's nice to see now, now that we're kind of moving forward here, it just looks like a classic wedge. One of the big things that they said on tour is they just wanted something very, very simple. And that's what we have here. I mean, I can't, I can't say enough about how good these things look. And then we're going to go to the W grind. The W grind did change a little bit. So this looks more like a, what I would call a tour W. So in the past, the W grinds had a huge flange on it. So this sole has been really, really thick. They narrowed it down. They took out the, the, the bounce in the leading edge to make that look a little bit cleaner. And uh, I have a feeling you're going to start to see some W grinds actually on tour because this thing looks, this looks pretty awesome, actually. I mean, it looks like something I would want to hit. Um, things to note. They're going to have a pretty intense custom program on these wedges. So everybody will always ask me in DMs on my AMAs, you know, can we get raw wedges? You can get raw wedges now through custom, and you can get one looking like this. So if you want all the tour parts, if you want the tour issue S400 with a raw head, you can do all that stuff now. It's been a challenge in the past, but you can do it now. So 
That is Opus, the down and dirty. I'm really, really excited to hit these wedges. So the next video you see will uh, probably be me down at ECPC, uh, kind of doing my grind series that I've done the last, uh, last couple of years. I'm really excited to test these out, but uh, if you have any more questions, go to callawaygolf.com, World of Wonder website. But that is Opus first look. Uh, tour team's really proud of these ones. And uh, so far the players and the conversion has been uh, pretty damn nice. It's gonna be a fun summer. It's gonna be a fun year. Welcome to Opus.